And John Fung tells her when he was out in the forest one time, he pitched his umbrella tent in the evening, he looked around, he didn't see any signs of any, any clouds, any possibility of rain. And it's a custom among the meditating monks that when you pitch your umbrella tent, you don't move. So you have to be very careful before you set it out, make sure there are no ant nests around or anything. If it's going to rain, you try to find a sheltered place. Well, he didn't see any rain, so it was out in the open. And sure enough, midnight, a huge storm blew up. So he got up, put all of his robes except for his underrobe into his bowl to make sure they didn't get wet, and then sat there meditating. And the theme of his meditation was, the body may be wet, but the mind isn't wet. And he says he was able to get the mind at peace in the midst of the cold and the rain and the wind. But I realized that no matter what the mind knows, the mind doesn't have to be tinctured by it. It doesn't have to be affected by it. You can know and just leave it at knowing. And then you can focus on things that really are worth knowing, without getting distracted by things that make you cold or hungry or hot or whatever. So on a day like this, when it's pouring rain every now and then, remind yourself the body may be wet, the clothes may be wet, but your mind isn't wet. The mind is just aware. You try to have, try to have that sense of basic awareness, equanimous awareness, that doesn't have to get stirred up by things. There's a passage where the Buddha tells his son as he's getting ready to meditate, make your mind like earth. Unpleasant things get dumped on the earth, but the earth doesn't shrink back, doesn't react. Make your mind like water, make it like wind, make it like fire. These things make contact with unpleasant things, but they don't react. Try to have that kind of non-reactive mind, because then it enables you to see other things that are going on in the mind. If you're constantly reacting to things, there's no way you can get the mind to settle down. There's no way that you can see things for what they are, because you're in the midst of your reactions running around. So let the, the cold and the wet be with the cold and the wet. That's their business. You make sure that your awareness is where you want it, with the breath, with the mind. This way you learn what equanimity is all about. It focuses you on things that are important. It doesn't let you get distracted by things that would pull you away. So focus on the state of your mind. It's the thing that you want to protect the most. You look after your body as best you can, but as for the cold and the rain, it's not, nothing we can do about it. It's supposed to get hot and dry next weekend, I'm told. So things will change. But in the meantime, make sure the state of your mind doesn't have to change with the ups and downs of the weather, the ups and downs of life outside.